would like to show you a bit how the administration in Quebec province is corrupt and clueless. So this article here was about the registration of cars. It's from April 27, 2023, last year. They were saying the tax on each car must increase a little bit for to $60 or something like this early. So again, April 27, then we have this little article not even a month later, May 8, the same year, past year, 1,000 electric buses at 2 billion deal. We are in Montreal here, and this is Canada, means harsh winters. You want to put electric buses in this city, which is already struggling with taxes, and it's not a rich place and it we already have very nice buses diesel i think or something like this so this is just insane but let me just show you something extra which happened two days ago we are in 2024 so this is going to be 20 april 2024 two days ago I'm going to translate you because I couldn't find yet a English article. It says the tax on cars registration must again increase to finance the city transportation. Those electric buses that were ordered last year and now the tax 59 was to one year ago. It's supposed it's expected to pass from 59 to 100, maybe even 228. That's four-fold increase. Because some geniuses want to show the world that Canada is helping the planet. <laughs> I mean, I just want to point something out. I do believe in climate change. I do hope well, actually, I, I, I'm actually pessimistic because I, I, it's not that I'm pessimistic, but I'm well aware that it, we cannot really do really something substantial to change the future uh, with this climate change stuff. The pollution does not come from buses. Actually, very little comes from cars. It's something like 20% or so the total transportation global. Most of the pollution comes from the heating with coal uh, plants, which happens a lot in China, a lot in the United States and other places in the world. So we cannot change the way we produce the energy unless we, we create a new form of energy, even with these wind turbines. It's really very little that you can do. Maybe you are going to change 5-10% in the uh, next uh, 50 years or so. So it's not something that you can actually stop, prevent, or reverse. And you make taxpayers spend insane amount of money just because some politicians got this idea. Let's let's appear trendy. I I, I don't understand this this uh, the vision of these people. They just spend lavish money because we are in this situation with the climate and this money does not bring a real change to me a real change would be to maybe stop at least 20 something person of the climate change sorry about the timer uh so yeah let's uh, let's uh, i'm curious what you are going to say in the comment section thanks for watching